He's got some pretty new hair. Oh yeah, what's up? Do a twirl. Do a twirl. There we go. There we go. Hey. And a new blanket. And a new blanket. New blanket. New hair. Everything's just changing around here. It's just like every day. It's just a new surprise. I just don't know what to expect. So it's baking time here at the Koala Bears. Um, my friend made these really delicious seven layer kind of candy bars, I guess, type deal thing for New Year's last year. So I'm trying to replicate that. It's basically, what is it? We got butterscotch chips, chocolate chips, coconut, pecans, graham crackers, and to make it really healthy, we're gonna throw in some sweetened condensed milk. They were the most delicious things I've had, and Kevin and I are really trying to eat healthy this new year, and kind of stay on the track, but I'm I'm falling off the wagon this time because they were so good and I want to try how to make them. And this kitty says it's going to be okay. Right, boops? There you go. Did you hear that? She went, oh. All right, so this is the before and I'll show you the after. Okay. Okay, so the bars are cooking. I am here with my glass of wine. I've got my bubble buddy, right? And Kevin's at work tonight. Usually when Kevin's away, <laughs> is that a big yawn? Wow. Usually when Kevin's away, Bo gets really, really needy and clingy. So he'll usually, if I go upstairs, we have the stairs gated off to the upstairs. He'll want to come up there. And he'll kind of, he never walks up the stairs to the gate. He usually will just stay at the base of the stairs. But if Kevin's gone, he almost always will walk up to the top of the gate and whine if I'm up there until I come back down and then he'll finally rest. <laughs> That's all he wanted. I wish I had the camera when I was up there because he was acting like there was a fire in the house, weren't you? Yeah, so it's just me and my wine. Kevin told me not to watch any more episodes of Law & Order SVU because he was gone for work. I think it was last weekend, or no, when he was visiting a friend, and I watched too many episodes, and I got really scared, and I couldn't really fall asleep well, and I had the worst night of sleep ever, so he told me not to do that, and usually when he's gone, too, I'll watch a horror movie, which is the worst idea ever, I know. It's like, come on, Adrian, what are you thinking? But Kevin really hates horror movies, so it's kind of like my only chance to watch them, and so... I don't think that's gonna be my plan tonight. I went to the grocery store to get the ingredients for the bars, and um, I meant to try and like pick up a copy of Frozen while I was there, and I was gonna watch that tonight, because we haven't watched that in a really long time, actually, and we both really like that movie, but I completely blanked on that on my mission. So this is our movie collection here underneath our TV. Let me see if I can zoom in, because uh, Lazy Bones here doesn't wanna wake up. But, oh yeah, that zooms well. I am thinking maybe some Silver Linings Playbook, which is on Netflix. I don't usually like to watch things on, that are on Netflix on DVD if I have access to Netflix. So I don't think I'm going to watch any of that. But, oh, Big, that's a good one. Avatar. District 9, I don't think I can do that. It makes me too sad. <gasps> Double Jeopardy, oh my gosh. Revenge movies are probably, revenge movies are my favorite type of movie possible. If it's a good revenge plot, that's guaranteed to be probably one of my favorite movies. So I love Double Jeopardy. Um, what's that movie with Gerard Butler? Shoot. Where he's like, his family is murdered at the beginning of the movie. Prisoner in training? <gasps> Law Abiding Citizen. That is it. That's one of my all time favorite movies. And I love Gerard Butler even before I saw that movie. So when I saw that movie, I kind of just saw it because he was in it. And little did I know it was going to be one of the best revenge movies I've ever seen. And that sounds kind of bad, but like, I get really into it and I just like feel with the characters and I'm angry and I want them it's bad but I want them to hurt the people that have hurt their family like in Prisoners except that movie was kind of sad with the way it turned out I don't know how much I did like that movie though but I don't know 
Is that weird? Do you guys like revenge movies? What's your favorite kind of movie? Kevin always goes for comedy. That's all he wants to watch. Comedy, comedy, comedy. And I like comedies, but it's really hard for me to think that a movie is very, very funny. Like, Bridesmaids was my all-time favorite best comedy movie. I like Bridesmaids and probably I Love You, Man. And Forgetting Sarah Marshall are my top three comedies, but he loves any and all comedies and Disney movies. So if he gets to pick, that's usually what we're watching. And I honestly prefer, like, dramas, thrillers, drama slash thrillers and horrors. So that's why when he's gone, it's like, finally, I get full reign. Because usually it comes to a compromise and we'll end up watching, like, some sort of action movie. Like, the other week we watched Star Trek Into Darkness. And, I mean, I love those movies, and Kevin loves them, but, like, we're always compromising, kind of. So when one of us is away, it's kind of like the time for the other person to go ham. And I think I just heard the oven beep, so I'm going to go check on the bars. Ooh, I'm excited. Don't tell Kevin. So here they are, bubbling in all their glory. I don't know if you can see it bubbling on the sides or hear it. Oh my gosh, these smell like pure heaven. Shh, shut up, oven. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. This is a lot of bars, but um, some of the people are leaving at our, my work on Monday, so I'm going to bring some of them in for them. But I had some time tonight, so I wanted to make them tonight, which is Saturday instead of tomorrow. So, here they are. <laughs> 